Hello YouTube! So today I'm going to be reviewing The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Let's get started. So first off, my overall impression is essentially holy dystopian novels Batman. This one was really good, none of the plot went the way that I thought it was going to go, and yet now that I've read it I can't think of a single thing that should have gone any way but the way that it did. And my only real criticism of the book overall is that there should have been more female characters. I was very bothered by the fact that the only female character, Teresa, shows up pretty early in the book and then proceeds to spend about two-thirds of it in a coma, where she mumbles nonsense but otherwise is not really an active character. And when she does wake up and engages in part of the story, we get to see very little of her character development, which is understandable to an extent because all of them have a kind of weird character development, especially because uh, they've lost all of their memories. But the fact that she's unconscious and in a coma for two thirds of the book means that we lose all of that time where we could have been developing her maze character. So that was kind of a bummer. It bothered me so much that I actually went and looked up uh, James Dashner's reason for only having one girl because frankly I felt like that was kind of unfair. And he said that it was meant to be a variable because that's what Wicked is super, super like concerned with. So there's that. But the thing is, is of all of the variable things that were part of this maze experiment, we had supplies, whether or not the sun rose, how often the walls changed, the need for survival, those kinds of things. I really don't like the idea that a human person is put into that slot especially because of their gender. I can understand it from a super evil dystopian novel sort of way, but I don't think that it was a good enough reason to not have mixed genders. That said, if there was an equal experiment where there were 50 girls and only one boy in a different maze somewhere, and these two groups eventually come together later in the series, I'm all for it it's great. I'm really sad that because there's only one female character, the movie won't pass the Bechdel test, which is unfortunate, because uh, that's one of my big sticklers, stickler things for movies. But I am still very excited about it. I'm very excited that uh, James Dashner is excited about it. And so I think it's going to be a really good adaptation. I would love to see some of the things described in the book on the big screen and I'm very excited for it. I also really loved that James Dashner took the time to make his characters racially diverse. Um, and that doesn't appear to have been a variable at all, which obviously I think people would have been up in arms about that. So I find it interesting that he didn't choose that to be a variable, but he picked gender as a variable. Um, still don't think that was a good enough reason. But I am so glad that it was racially diverse, that the cast is racially diverse instead of ignoring the uh, descriptions, which some movies have been known to do. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing those characters on the screen. I think it's going to be great. And um, I will say this. Over the course of reading the book, I yelled at the main character probably about seven times, mostly because I get to sit in my nice, comfortable living quarters and read about this dystopian thing when this main character is living it and is being so frustrating because there's never really a good time for him to get the information that he wants and either he's being very outspoken about it or he's not speaking up when he wants to and that is just endless frustration and I found myself also very frustrated with the other boys for not just answering his questions like how hard could that be um, but of course I'm not in 
this universe. I'm not sitting in this in the glade with these characters and I can understand to an extent why they might not have chosen to share because if Thomas had totally freaked out on them after getting the info he wanted that probably wouldn't have gone well for anyone involved. And the last two pages, the epilogue, uh, yeah, that had me yelling at James Dashner pretty, pretty loudly because I didn't see that coming and I'm angry about it and I can't believe they did that and I'm very excited for the Scorch Trials. So yeah, that's my take on The Maze Runner by James Dashner and until next time, don't forget to be awesome. Bye, YouTube.